Hey guys, it's Amy again, um, and today I'm not going to talk to you guys about makeup or anything like that. I'm going to talk about um, health and um, my eye condition um, because I'm kind of looking for people who are in a similar situation. Um, so I just want you to know this is going to be pretty graphic, and so... If you have a weak stomach, if you don't like to hear about eyes and cutting and yuckiness, then please um, just X out. Um, this will not be for you. <laughs> and it won't hurt my feelings. It's fine. So anyway, if you're still with me, um, I have keratoconus. Um, my mom has it too. Um, there is somewhat of a genetic link, but... Um, it's weird because my mom has it too, but if you look up the genetic link, it's not like 100% sh that it's like a genetic link or not. So I don't know if it's a coincidence or what. But, um, basically, keratoconus, if you don't know, um, your cornea, like a normal cornea is a nice sort of, I can't even do it, like a cylinder shape. Um, but if you have keratoconus, your cornea becomes like a point. And... Um, I can't wear um, glasses, I can't go without contacts, um, because it totally distorts my vision. So I have to wear a hard lens. Well, the problem for me personally is um, my eyes can't tolerate just hard lens, so I do what's called piggybacking, and that's where I wear a soft lens in each eye and then a hard lens on top. And when I say hard lens, I mean a gas ridge permeable gas permeable ridge. I forget which order. But anyway, um, and my eyes have steadily gotten worse over the years. Basically, I was diagnosed at some point in my, I want to say early to mid 20s, which is the usual time to be diagnosed. Um, and how you know if there's a problem is you go to your eye doctor for a normal eye exam and, you know, you answer which is better, one or two, blah, blah, blah. And then you get your contacts or your glasses, and holy cow, like, you can't see. And you're wondering, like, did the eye doctor not listen to me? What happened here? Um, but, and then the eye doctor <laughs> does, makes fixes and gets you new contacts, and they still, you can't see out of them. Um, and then they send you to a cornea specialist, um, and they do a lot of different diagnostics and testing, and um, that's how you're typically diagnosed. And most people can live their life just with the gas perms, and um, that's it. But for some people, and for me, unfortunately, um, I have to have a cornea transplant in my left eye. My left eye is the worst eye. Um, and it's, it's quite bad, <laughs> um, and I'm really nervous about the transplant, um, uh, it's just really scary, obviously, and then for my right eye, because basically the surgeon is saying, if I do nothing to the right eye, then in a few years, the likelihood of me needing a transplant in this eye is going to be really high. So I'm going to get a very experimental, non-FDA approved um, procedure, which is expensive, unfortunately. Um, but it's where they put riboflavin and UV light in your eye for, I guess, like an hour. And then supposedly, it doesn't, I don't think... I don't think it can heal the already damaged cornea, but I think what it does is prevents it from getting worse. So I'm kind of looking for people that either have keratoconus, have another eye condition in which you've needed a cornea transplant, and or have had the riboflavin and UV ray thing. Um, just because I'm, I am really scared, um, obviously. Anytime you have 
any transplant, I'm sure it's scary, but with the cornea transplant, I think what scares me the most is at any point in your life, the cornea can um, reject. You know, just like with any transplant, you, you can have a rejection. The problem with your eye is you have very limited time to get into a surgeon and get it fixed. And so if it's like 15 years down the road and it rejects, you know, and you just have eye pain, you probably won't be thinking like, oh, it might be my cornea rejecting. And if you don't get in on time, that is when you do go blind and that blindness is permanent. So I think that's what scares me the most, although everything about it scares me. Um, so anyway, that's it. I just want to open a discussion. Maybe someone somewhere has thoughts on this. Um... I did like a search on YouTube and all I could find were horrifying surgeries. Like I don't want to see a cornea transplant. That's disgusting and I definitely don't want to look at that. But <laughs> I'm looking for real people who can um, chat with me. So anyways, that's it. Bye.